according to St. John. Amen. Praise God. Look at the training in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The sixth chapter. Amen. And we'll begin reading at the ninth verse. And it reads on this wise. There's a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? I would like to use as a subject from which to preach a last lunch. A last lunch. Praise God. The miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. Amen. Now, this miracle is a very startling miracle. <laughs> a miracle that, that, that staggers the imagination. Amen. That a man could take a last lunch of two small fishes and five barley loaves and feed 5,000 men, not to mention women and children. That's staggering to the imagination. But uh, be we as skeptical as we may be, Westerners and Occidental as we are, boast if we may about living in an enlightened age. Amen? Boast if we may about living in, in an intelligent age. Boast if we may about living in a technological age. Boast if we may about living in an all-tray intelligent age. Let us not rule out the fact of miracles. Amen? Huh? Because miracles are happening all around us. Huh? The radio is a miracle. The, the, the internet is a miracle. Many of the studies in science are miracles in themselves. Uh, and it, 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 it tends to, to bother the imagination, think with me if you will, of how God can put in the mind of man to set a teleological telescope in the satellitic sphere of the exosphere. It shoot uh, to a machine that is in New York. Amen. And that machinery will project a picture, motion picture with sound and voice into the room of someone who is all the way in Los Angeles. That is a miracle. Amen. So many of the things in science are miracles in themselves, but, 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 but let us not rule out the fact of miracles when it comes to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there, there, there's no man quite like Jesus. Amen. And, and it, is, it is staggering. It, it boggles the imagination of, of how a man could take a last lunch of, 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 of two small fishes and, and, and five barley loaves. You know, two small fishes and five loaves won't even do it in here. If black people got anything, we got an appetite. Yeah, man. But, but he took two small fishes and and five barley loaves, and fed 5,000 men, not to mention women and children. That, that is a miracle. And, and, and they, they had just come from the Passover feast. Yeah, man, and, 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 and the people began to see. Jesus lifted up his eyes and saw the multitude and realized that they were hungry. Yeah, man, look at your neighbor and say, be faithful. Praise God. And so he said unto them, he said, the multitude is hungry. And, and, and the disciple, I believe it was Philip that said that, that, that we, 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 we don't have enough money to feed all of these people. Tell somebody that God is more than enough. And so, and so 
He said, he said, we need the brown bread and, and something to eat, but even if we had 200 pennies, yeah, man, I believe the Bible used the word denarius. In other words, even if we had something that much, which today would be equivalent to about two or three thousand dollars, we would not have enough to feed all of these people. Not five thousand, Bishop. And so consequently, uh, 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 one of the disciples, Andrew, Simon's brother, you got some believers in the camp, even when everybody else is down. Amen. I know about believing when no one else believes, Bishop. Praise God. Amen. When you're walking through the desert of your trial, praise God. Anybody ever walk through a dry land and you going through the desert of your trial and you're the only one it seems like that is willing to go on. But, but God, all he needs is you to believe because he said, one will set a thousand, two ten. Praise God. And so there was a believer in the camp. And so Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there's a lad here that has five barley loaves and two small fishes. And so Jesus told him, bring the lad here. Yeah, man, it doesn't really go into the lad's age, but we do know that he was a, a boy because it said he was a lad. You know, Jesus said, except ye be as deeds, huh? ye shall not even enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh, suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not because such as deeds, yeah, man, are the kingdom of heaven. And so the baby, <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I wish somebody saw it like I see it. Baby came there believing with all that he had. <laughs> Praise God, which was just the last lunch. And not only that, but it was a poor last lunch. Amen. I want you to understand that these were not fertile fishes, but these fishes would do. Uh, I don't want you to think that they were some catfish or, or, or perch or, or, or bluegill. Uh, those fish got meat on them. But anybody know anything about the little fish? Yeah, man. These were the, the little hand cards. Uh, 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 they weren't even enough for the boy himself. It, was, it wasn't intended to fill him. It was just something that he would carry along the way, you know, to tide him over. Yeah, man. And so, and so Andrew and Philip believing looked and said, there's a lad here that has five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? And Jesus said, bring the lad here to me. And they brought him. And Jesus looked at the lad and he said to him, because he knew he had the authority. He said, give it over. Amen. When this little boy woke up, I don't even think that he ever knew that he would meet this great prophet from Galilee. He was just on his way to school. And a poor school is that, but he's about to get a lesson in economics from the breath of Jesus. And so he said, hand it over. And, and the little boy didn't know anything but to do but hand it over. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, surrender unto God. And so he, he hands it over. And Jesus look at it and he began to bless it. And so here we are now. With his lad standing before Jesus. And the mighty prophet is asking him to turn over his lunch. Oh Lord. And this little boy turned over his lunch. A poor lad's lunch. Oh Lord. Because anybody could have had two fish. Oh Lord. And anybody, great God. Could have had a few barley loads. Yeah, well, Lord, uh, but this land uh, was the only one.